Welcome back, everybody. It's, of course, Sport Federation TV, and we carry on talking about what's happening uh, with sport in the Western Cape. And, of course, uh, we've got multiple disciplines, as you by now probably have worked out, multiple disciplines in South Africa. In fact, at a national level, we've got 76 different sport codes, <coughs> of which some of them go to the Olympics. And, um, <coughs> as we say, they're, of course, structured across the provinces and across the districts, <coughs> of course, as per national regulation. In fact, we'll get into that a little bit later at another stage, how sport regulations work in South Africa in terms of the National Sport and Recreation Plan. But joining me on the line now from the Western Cape is the Western Cape Archery Champion and 2019 South African Archery Champion, Murray Louise from and Murray, it is great to have you on the show. Um, how are things with you? Hi there, JP. Things are good. It's, thank you for having me on the show. Yeah, well, it's the first time. Uh, it's the first time having you on the show. It's great to have an archer, especially a Western Cape archery champion. Is that what I call you, an archer? Is that the right word? Yes, that's definitely the right word. I'd say my whole life is about archery. Uh, we've had your president, Karen Holzer, with us on the show uh, quite a few times. And in fact, when we were in the studio, she brought all these bows with her and, and, and so on. Um, and let's start at the beginning. Um, when, did, when did you get involved in archery and, and why? Sure, I got involved quite a couple of years ago. I was 11, 12 years old when my parents actually took us on a, a trip to England. And my passion for archery started when we had visited the Robin Hood Museum in Sherwood Forest. So at the end of the museum, you could uh, actually shoot a bow and arrow. And my first arrow just missed the bullseye and I was hooked. It was what I wanted to do. So, you got so yeah, that's where it started. <laughs> You got involved with archery because you went to the Robin Hood Museum. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> that's kind of the perfect story. <laughs> absolutely. I'm, I mean, if that's what we think when we think about archery, we think of Robin Hood. It's, you're, 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 you're quite right. Or, um, but it's, it's, it's fascinating. I mean, archery is a, from your perspective. Um, it seems like a very disciplined sport. You have to put in hours and hours of training. We, we spoke to, when we spoke to Karen Holzer just a few weeks ago and herself having competed at the Olympics, she was talking about all the, 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 the small details of what can turn, um, uh, turn a, uh, an average athlete into a successful professional uh, candidate like yourself. Yes, definitely. Um... If you compare a novice archer to someone who shoots more professionally, and I would consider myself a more professional archer, even though it's not exactly my career in South Africa, um, there are many differences. If I look at the amount of time that I spend after hours training, I have to put in a lot of extra time because if I, when I end up competing internationally, I'll be competing against people that do this as a career. Yeah. So, yes, I spend many extra hours. I don't just shoot. There's a lot of strength training and fitness that has to happen. I keep a diary. I have to complete a fitness report or a training report every month for my national body. So, yes, there's quite a lot of extra things. And there's always someone watching you or keeping an eye on how much effort you're putting in. How does it work from a coaching perspective? How do you, how do you interact with your coach? Um, uh, uh, does the coach come down to the... Uh, the field or what do we what do we call the space where you train on how does that work okay so we call it an archery range um, I'm lucky my coach is actually um, at my club so he also shoots at my club and then so I've got a, a local coach who Henk Brimmer and then I've got another coach Filippo Clini who's actually an Italian um, archer or he used to be an Italian archer he's now an Italian coach and Sano which is our national body as since last year, we started getting Filippo Clini in to train the top archers in the country. And how much training have you been able to do during the lockdown period? Uh, that must have been quite challenging. <laughs> yeah, lockdown was quite challenging. I've had to be practicing in my apartment. So I've been shooting at five meters. Um, that's, that was happening for about four months now. Yeah, yeah. Regarding how much, I've actually managed to train more in lockdown. Um, yeah, but the, the range is open last week, so we are back at the range now. I can totally shoot 70 meters again. We've got a couple of pictures that you sent us here. You've got to talk us through some of these pictures. Um, uh, I see a number of 
um, a, a pictures here of where you're, you're actually on the range itself. And um, some of the equipment that we're looking at here, it doesn't look much like a Robin Hood type bow that you're using there. Yeah, so there are many different categories in, of shooting. Um, you get your Olympic uh, archery, then you get your field archery, and you get your, your ABO or your 3D archery. So what I do is mostly Olympic. So I shoot the Olympic recurve bow. However, I also have a compound bow, and I also have a traditional bow. So I do do compound and traditional for fun, sometimes just to get my mind off the competitive side of recurve. But yeah, yeah. Um, yeah with recurve, it's Olympic bow, basically. Tough. Um, is it tough up there when we're been, competing in the national level? Yes, it's, it's really tough. Um, you really have to be able to control your emotions. So I actually have an exciting story. Um, when we were participating, so on the first day, you shoot a score out of 1440, which gives you your SA ranking. And I, I took first place in that. But then on the second day, you, ha you shoot 72 arrows. And then they rank you um, from number one to how, how many ever people participated. And then based on that ranking, you have to shoot an elimination round. So in that elimination round, I, I ranked first. But in my first elimin elimination match, I had to shoot out against my buddy from my own club, <laughs> which was quite tough because we had shot out against one another just prior to nationals as well. So, um, yeah, I, I just won that match. It was actually a really scary match. We ended up being at four, four each, and it's the first one to six that wins. So our very last end, she accidentally shot a miss, and I was lucky that I had all my arrows on the target, so I took that match. But then when I get, got to my uh, gold medal match, it was a really tough, uh, tough match. My opponent is a really good archer as well. I shot against her the previous year as well. And um, so how it went was I won the first set. So it was 2-0. And then my, uh, I then we tied a set. So it was 3-0. Then my opponent won a set. So it was 3-2. Uh, then she won another set. So it ended up being 4-3. Uh, <laughs> it was really scary. And then it ended up being 5-3 for her. And then it was 5-0. And then we got to a one arrow shoot off. So basically you have to, we each shoot one arrow. So she had to shoot first and she shot and I heard someone behind shot, that's an eight. And they, sh they sounded quite relieved. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, I need to shoot an eight. And I shot that shot and it was the most amazing feeling I've ever felt. It was, I just saw the arrow fly and I knew, I just knew it was going to be in the pen. And um, yeah, I mean, so someone behind me just shouted, it's a 10. And it was like the most amazing feeling when I turned around and I walked off. I actually have that picture um, where I have, I have my bow in the, the air. Yeah, it was the first time I'd been dreaming about winning nationals for years. I'd worked so hard and it felt like my all my hard work had finally paid off. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Marie Louise, it's been great chatting with you. We'll catch up with you again soon and we'll follow your progress. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you uh, when the when it when it happens the Western Cape Championships and then the SA Championships and then hopefully the Olympics one day. Yes, thank you so much, JP. <laughs> there we go, folks. Marie Louise uh, from Maryland, um, Western Cape Archery Champion, 2019 South African Archery Champion, and she certainly is um, uh, a driving force in the world of archery and of course uh, flying the flag for women's archery. It's been great uh, uh, chatting with her, and we'll follow her progress as uh, we see our archers in the Western Cape having such great success.